So what are you making today, babe? We are gonna make a very simple but very delicious split pea soup with cabbage. So first we gotta get um, these ingredients going and then um, the cabbage comes later. Wiping the cheese. Yeah, you just sweat on everything. The whole floor over here. I can't <laughs> step up. Hey, we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. of dried peas. And then I'm going to put six cups of water. And then we're going to put our bouillon on. I did not pre-open this. Oh, look, okay. Hey. <laughs> I swear to God, it smells like baby food every time I open mm. this. <laughs> so we need, we're going to be doing about five teaspoons of this. If you don't have, if you don't use better than bouillon, um, that's three. A second. I don't want to miscount. Four. If you don't have this, if you're not using anything like that, and you're using like canned or, or boxed um, stock or whatever, I'll put that in my recipe of what to do to kind of just not use water. Well, you wouldn't be using water. Basically, you're using um, the same amount of water to the bouillon. I'm just trying to get some of that off. Then, of course, we cannot forget garlic. And I'm going to do about five cloves. I think that's a good amount for this. Two. Except I cheat. Three. Nothing wrong with that. More garlic. Mm hmm I know this, this recipe seems so simple, but sometimes you need a simple recipe that tastes really good. The cabbage gives a lot of flavor, so that's the reason why I didn't want to over-season it with a bunch of other seasonings. Just simple garlic and chicken bouillon and some pepper. Stir it up, and then I'm gonna, well, let's just stir first. Gonna mess. Sometimes your peas stick, so you gotta kinda, once they come in contact with the water, they wanna glue the right to each other. Because let me tell you, as soon as you, this is why I don't rinse my peas. 
Um, I just make sure there's nothing in there like rocks or anything because it'll stick into a big pile of, it's almost like clay. I never knew that. Yeah, it does. I mean, I don't, the last time I did that, I could barely get them apart. <laughs> but if you want to rinse them, I would just go, th just look in there and make sure there's no like rocks or maybe, maybe another bean that came in the bag. Okay. I think that's good. And now we're going to do the lid on, put it on high, and we'll check it. This is going to be about a four to five hour recipe, but I put the cabbage in in the last hour, hour and a half. So maybe two hours. So I'm going to be checking on this in about uh, two or three hours. See what it's doing. So, lid goes on. Turn it on high, and we'll be back. Hopefully Brian's friends don't come over and eat it all. Oh, they did. I made this last Monday, and uh, yeah, they were just all sitting there watching me stir it around, and they're like, mm, that smells really good, and I'm like, do you guys want some? I didn't know that teenage boys would want um, pea soup. <laughs> oh, they ate it. They loved it. So yeah, it's a really good recipe. It's the cabbage. The cabbage gives it a kind of a sweet little taste to it. The little bit of a crunch from the cabbage. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're gonna put the cabbage on in there and uh, it's been about three hours. So, Time to put in the cabbage. I'm not putting this the whole thing. <laughs> no. No, that would be so yummy. Let me see. I'm going to try to figure out the best way to cut this. Um, <laughs> well, that's not good. Okay. Let's see if I can cut it. I'm trying to do about a third. I only want about a third. And you gotta have a sharp knife too. There you go. Yeah, I like that is what I'm looking for. And I want all of it. So. What about that one on the floor? Uh, well, we'll get that later. I'll chop <laughs> that up in a minute. I'm gonna kind of make these into kind of like chunks. I'm gonna do that. Kind of thick, not too thick though. Because I want to keep some of the uh, the really big pieces in there, you know? So I'm just gonna like. Because they will spread apart. Because of the. Yep, they'll spread apart. But that's, that's what I want them to look like, like this. So. I may need a little bit more. I'm trying to get, I don't know. So yeah, you just cut in that way. If you do it like that, you'll get these nice little chunks and they separate. So you don't have to do much chopping. <laughs> Go in there. Okay. So yeah, we're getting up to what I want. Yeah, about six cups is what I want. Mm -hmm. Did that perfectly, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Mm -hmm. These ones are a little too tall, so we're just gonna chop them up. Yeah, that's about six cups. What about the one on the floor? I'm not putting it in here. <laughs> I'm slicing up this one. Don't can't waste anything. Okay. 
Now I'm going to rinse these. Rinse your cabbage, people. So now we're going to put in our chopped up cabbage. It's going to be steamy. Ooh. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. You see how it's so grainy? That's when I put my cabbage in. It's not ready yet because I like this to be really creamy. And it's not creamy yet. This is uh, edible. <laughs> I'd eat it. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's still going to have that really pea hardness to it. Okay. We're going to put this in. And uh, yeah. So that was six cups of cabbage, chopped cabbage. And then you just stir them around. Make sure they really kind of get in there. Don't worry, it's not gonna look like this one is done. <laughs> but that's why I like to put the uh, cabbage in at that point because the peas um, are still not done and it gives time for the cabbage to cook. Yep. So that's what it looks like right now and then we're going to look at it and probably, I'm going to check on it in an hour. And that would be like four hours because I say this recipe would take four to five hours so we're going to look at it in an hour. It's already been three hours so we'll see you in an hour. Okay, so this has been going for one and a half hours. I checked it after one hour when I said I was gonna check it at one hour. I felt that it needed more. And it did. And now it's this. The cabbage is all nice and it's got that al dente kind of, oh yeah. Gives the chunks in it. And if you let it sit there for like literally even a minute, this is gonna be all like a dip. <laughs> is that yours, babe? I think I made too much. That is mine. <laughs> yeah, it's yours. That's a lot. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is yummy. Dinner is served. So, um, if you like uh, what I do, you know, like, subscribe, and I try to put out one every week. So I try to do more budget friendly. I know this is a simple recipe, but it's because cabbage is kind of like, you know, really popular right now. So I decided to put out that and we love it. But anyways, I have a lot of other recipes, you know, um, meats and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, follow me if you want to. You want to, guys. Bye.